It became known that voting for Joe Biden's candidacy for participation in the presidential election has been postponed to the first week of August. At the same time, some party members believe that he should be the draw his candidacy. While the Democrats are postponing a decision on nominating a presidential candidate, Donald Trump has been winning over new voters. Moreover, he makes loud statements and ambitious pledges. During his second term, he intends to intervene in the budget, deal with the illegal immigrants and force small Taiwan to pay the U.S. for protection from China. The only problem is that all issues Donald Trump touches on in his statements instantly become feverish. The currency market and the crypto market did not stand aside either. For example, Jerome Powell was promised the opportunity to remain the Fed Reserve Chairman if he did not cut the funds rate until November. Interestingly, if we talk about Bitcoin, then during his former presidential term, Donald Trump slept on the main cryptocurrency calling it fake money. Now, he not only actively supports Bitcoin, but also made it part of his election campaign. At a rally in San Francisco on June 9, he called himself the crypto president. The versatile candidate also intends to speak on July 27 at the Bitcoin 2024 crypto conference. Obviously, the news pushed the number one cryptocurrency sharply up. Over the past months, Bitcoin has climbed to the resistance area over $66,000. Of course, high levels are yet to come. If Donald Trump wins, Bitcoin will also benefit and could rally to $100,000 by the presidential election in November. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar is also sensitive to Trump's statements. On an early Friday, the U.S. dollar index, which tracks the greenback's value against six rival currencies, was again trading higher in the Canada between 104.00 and 104.50. As a matter of fact, the U.S. dollar's growth this week was mainly driven by the market reaction to the presidential race in the United States. Economic data also matters a lot to the US dollar's dynamic. Yesterday, the dollar also received support from a stronger than expected US manufacturing index by the Philadelphia Fed. Besides, the increase in weekly initial unemployment claims also attributed to seasonal factors. Recent comments from Fed Reserve policymakers can also be in interpreted differently. For example, San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly said she is still uncertain about inflation falling sustainably uh, toward the central bank's 2% target. According to her colleague Christopher Waller, the timing of the rate cut is already around the corner. According to the Fed Watch tool, the chance of a such a decision at the September meeting is 98%. Such prospects are encouraging buyers of gold. And today the metal is trading within the interdecade over 2,415 to 2,448 dollars per ounce. Gold could close on a Friday with the gains for the fourth week in a row. Nevertheless, there are still options for the beginning of a monetary easing in the U.S. In the contrast to the ECB's decision to leave monetary settings the same on Thursday was predictable and priced in by the market. Curiously, some surprises popped up here too. Investors were uh, astonished by extremely pessimistic assessments of the ECB policymakers regarding economic dynamics in the euro area. Perhaps it makes sense for the ECB not to go ahead with the further monetary easing, but also move to a more active phase of rate cuts. 
By the way, ECB President Christine Lagarde directly stated that during the September meeting, the issue of another decrease in the refinancing rate would be on the table. So, with such prospects, analysts do not rule out the active decline of the single European currency. The rate cut in the euro area has already been priced in by markets. Our analysts expect the euro's fall to be short-lived. When the Fed Reserve opens discussions about rate cut in the United States, the single European currency will rise again. The odds are that in just a couple of days the euro-dollar pair will return to the levels it was trading at the beginning of Thursday. In the meantime, traders have reduced the long positions on the main currency pair. The instrument is now sticking to the lower border of the intraday corridor between 1.0950 and 1 1.10. As a result, the euro-dollar pair had a pullback which enabled a decrease below 1.0900. If the price settles below this line by the end of the week, the current pullback may continue. Otherwise, a local weakening of the euro will attract buyers and provoke a new growth impulse of the euro against the US dollar. Oil prices went down again for several reasons. One of them was, of course, the outcome of the third convention of the Chinese Communist Party, or rather the lack of specific details that were presented as a measures to revive the country's Olympian economy. China has been logging weak GDP growth uh, amid the long-running crisis in the domestic real estate market. All these factors arose concern in the oil market since China is the world's second largest oil consumer. The second reason for the fall in oil prices was the, was the results of the ECB meeting. Investors were alarmed by pessimistic assessment of economic prospects in the euro area, also one of the world's largest markets for crude oil. Such estimates clearly indicate a further decline in demand, including petroleum products. So, under the pressure of several negative factors at once, the brand grade again dropped below $85 per barrel. The brand price is likely to hover around $85 per barrel until the middle of the next week, before the publication of the next reports on the use oil inventories. Moreover, the price could fall even slightly below this level. If the beers set the tone today, oil will record its second weekly decline in a row. You have watched Market Review on the InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable trading and uh, have a nice weekend and see you online on a Monday. The problem with US politics is that there are 50 contenders for the Miss America title, but only two candidates for the US president.